What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are going to talk about the Solar Sizzler event what you have to do in order to get as many rewards as possible and as always there is always some problem with the event and right now it's not possible to complete this event but we are going to take a look at the numbers, see what's possible to do and hopefully some of the envoys, content creators or whatever that have access to developers can let them know that they might have made a mistake in the in the calculations of this event. So like always, if you like the information on this video, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for more Marvel Psych Force content and make sure you smash that like button. Okay, let's get started. So Solar Sizzler Milestone, this is the event that will go for eight days and allow you to get Sunfire Shards. Sunfire, very important character, you need him for the Unlimited X-Men, which is a team that is going to be required for you to unlock Apocalypse. So there is no way you can skip this character. So do as much as you can in order to get shards for this character. Myself, I got one offer and I opened a bunch of uh, cores for this guy to get more shards, see if maybe I will, it would be possible for me to get uh, four star, maybe five star but with how bad the calculations are for this event maybe it's not possible anyway okay so let's get started let's take a look at the event it will require you to battle with dark cold and dark cold at gear tier 13 and gear tier 15 and you also get points from spending cores and also from doing raids so very very important especially if you are on time zone 4 like me your next war will be in six hours, so don't do any attacks. Don't do any attacks, wait for the event to start, and then you start doing your attacks. And also, remove all your Dark Old characters from defense. You don't want to use Dark Old on defense, otherwise you're going to lose a lot of points. So this is the first thing that you need to do. Remove all your Dark Old characters from Alliance Wars defense, keep them on offense and only do your attacks after the event starts otherwise you're going to lose a lot of points once again especially if you're on time zone 4 okay so this event will go through four wars so in all those four wars you don't you will not be able to have dark hole on defense you always need them on offense in order to get as many points as possible okay so let's take a look at these let's take a look at the rewards so we are going to get a few Phantom X shards. We are going to get mostly Sunfire shards. We are going to get a bunch of gear, but there are two items here of, to take into consideration, which is the Black Panther at five red stars. And I'm not a fan of this because when they are giving these red stars on very specific characters, they are controlling the meta. They are telling you to invest in these characters, but that stagnates the meta because everyone has the same team and this is something i don't appreciate but whatever three red stars it will convert into a elite four if you already have a black panther at five red stars and then there is this very important item down here which is the cape of cloak of valor and this is for the upcoming event for the mighty thor lady thor which is a month long event and you'll need this cloak this is one of those items that give you a lot of points and it's going to be similar to the dazzler event that uh, you need to get in this one you needed the bracelet that one the next one you'll need that uh, cape of valor okay so beyond that we have some very juicy rewards down here but this is the line where you might not be able to obtain these rewards because the calculations of this event are wrong like how like most of the times, 80% of the times, the calculations are wrong and uh, the developers didn't do the math or anything. I don't know, it has to be like, it's mind blowing how come they make events like this that even if, you, if they are trying to make you spend money, it's nonsensical what they are doing. Okay, so the way you get points for this event, playing in rates, so you can do a round 10 nodes on each raid and you have two raids going on so that will cap the amount of points that you can obtain through raids then it's the same thing about war there are a limited amount of attacks that you can do and my calculations that i'm going to present to you it's like the average 
there is a limited amount of points that you can get with the war and uh, it's not going to be enough so it's going to be required for you to spend power cores and spend one power core it will give you three points the problem is that there are not enough places even if you would spend this amount of power cores which is going to be insane i'm going to show you the numbers in a second even if you'd spend the power cores necessary for to complete this event there are not enough places where you can spend the power cores unless you are using power cores on your battle pass or unless you are spending the power cores aimlessly on the refreshing the store or anything like that there are there are no places where you can spend the power cores is completely absurd now this would be very very easily fixed if it, instead of three points they would give 30 points then it would make sense but of course maybe the decimal point jeff or some other idiot at scopely was not able to do the calculations and see that three points is not enough it has to be 30 points there is one zero missing here where are all the content creators and envoys and now we have a new community manager manager and no one did the calculations doesn't see that is one zero missing from here it's completely absurd if it was 30 points instead of three it would motivate most people to spend 20 dollars to complete this event but without the zero there it's impossible to complete so no one is going to spend 20 dollars uh, and that's based on the amount of power cores that you can get uh, per day which is around 200 so that would make sense but of course not so let's take a look first let's take a look at uh, the blog post that we had talking about this event so we have once again the explanation here and last week before i did my holidays i made the calculations for this and i i saw right away that it was impossible and since then no one is talking about it or no one uh, called attention for the developers or anything like that it's impossible to complete with just three points so you can see the breakdown of the event right here you need a total of 200,000 points which is very very high and then at the same time that we have this event we have two additional events going on on the web store so make sure you check out the web store milestones every single day for this and to complete these two events it's very simple to complete these two events you need to use uh, unlimited x-men on cosmic crucible and you have to play cosmic crucible and win and win if you don't win you are not going to get these points but you don't have to win all the time i'm going to show you the numbers and uh, you'll still be able to complete this and uh, finally we have a second event the first one requires cosmic crucible it lasts for four days and then we have another one this is throughout the middle of the week it will require you to do blitz and use wakanda this one is also very easy to complete we're going to take a look at the numbers and see that it's extremely easy to complete these two small events the big one you are not able to complete okay so with that said let's take a look at the numbers and see the events so we have the main event right here and then we have the two secondary events right here okay so let's take a look at those secondary events just to clear that out of the way so the amount of points that you need is twenty thousand, and uh, you get points by winning in cosmic crucible and uh, using the unlimited x-men on cosmic crucible so you don't have to win with the unlimited x-men you just have to use them but of course you want to try to use so i made an average of uh, six wins you get 1000 points per win so if you win six times, you can get 6,000 points. But let's assume that you can only win four times, which is a good average. And based on that, and based on using the unlimited X-Men, and I already removed here Rogue and whatever characters that are not available for us. Uh, I made this actually based on my account. So yeah, I have three characters at gear tier 13, and I have one character at gear tier 15. And that will allow me to net 7,000 points for each Cosmic Crucible so with three days of cosmic crucible that's going to be 21,000. we have the goal of 20,000, so there will be zero points missing so this is for the first mini event from the web store that will require cosmic crucible after the weekend is over we have the other secondary event on the web store and that will be around the blitzing and using the wakanda so it's the usual stuff 
What matters is the amount of rotations that you have to do per day. This is four days and you have to do a minimum of five rotations, even four rotations, it will be fine. You can see right here that uh, our goal is 20,000 and uh, if we do five rotations per day, we'll get 32,000, which is way beyond what we need. So if you do around four rotations per day, you'll be fine. And this is also taking into account that you only have 30 teams. In case you have less than 30 teams, in case we have like 20 teams or 25 teams, what you want to do is to use your bleed charges three times per day with the Wakanda to get as many points as possible throughout the four days. Okay, so that's for the two, I don't know, additional events or whatever that we have going on with the, what's the name of the event? The Sizzler Fleezer. Solar, Fle Solar Sizzler, okay, so now for the main events for the Solar Sizzler, let's take a look at the numbers, at the numbers and see how ridiculous this is. So the event lasts eight days and I put a calendar right here. Today is Thursday and you can see right here with the, this calendar and based on my time zone, time zone four, I'm gonna be able to do four wars. And uh, this is going to be for if you are on time zone one, you are, you'll start here and you'll then here. So this will be for everyone. But of course, it's going to be based on my account once again on time zone four. Okay, so we get points by doing the raids, we get points by doing Alliance Wars, and we get points by using Dark Hold on Alliance Wars. And depending on the gear tier, the more points you get. Now, once again, as I mentioned before, there is a limited amount of uh, war attacks that you can do, and there is a limited amount of nodes that you can complete throughout the, the week. So eight days, each day you can complete 10 nodes on each of the raids. We have two raids going on at the same time, and that means in total you can clear 160 nodes. And in terms of the wars, you can see right here, four wars throughout this week, and this is going to give you the points that you can see right here. So 110,000 points. This is what is free to play possible without spending any cores and without spending any money. Probably we are going to get some offers because once again, it's almost literally impossible to complete this event without spending cores. And for sure they are going to add some offers to allow you to complete this event. Okay, so this will net you milestone 36. So as you can see right here, if you do the 10 attacks or the 10 raid nodes on the, both of the raids, and if you do all the, this is also 10 attacks in war. Sometimes you can do 13 attacks, but I didn't account for that. I always try to account for the minimum possible. So if you do the 20 nodes per day, plus the 10 attacks in war, as a free-to-play player without spending any cores, you'll be able to get 110,000 points. And if you take a look at the, the milestones, that's going to, you are going to reach the milestone 36, which will net you 135 shards for Sunfire, which is pretty decent, but it's not a, f a four star. It's only a three star and a half. To reach a four star, you need 180 shards. So if you want to spend some cores getting additional shards for this guy, that might be a way. Okay, so how much are we missing in order to complete all the milestones? We are missing, as you can see right here, 90,000 points. So the goal is 200,000 points. We are missing 90,000 points. And uh, this is when you take a look at the amount of cores that you have to spend, and this is why I said the numbers have to be wrong. It cannot be only three points per core, because like that, you have to spend 30,000 cores throughout eight days. That means you have to spend almost 4,000 cores per day. This is completely ridiculous. This is completely ridiculous. 4,000 cores per day, when you get on average 200 cores per day. For me that I'm on top three or the, on the arena, I always get 400 cores per day, but even so, it's 10 times what I can get per day. It's ridiculous. So for sure they made a mistake here. It has to be 30 and not three. Otherwise this doesn't make any sense. 
unless they are trying to sell you some bullshit offers, but they would be way better off putting 30 here and making people to buy those packs of uh, $20 for uh, 1,500 uh, quarters. This would be uh, the, the best way to monetize these events. If you monetize these events to target people that are going to spend $200 on a, on a specific event, no one is going to participate. But if you target people to maybe to read, to buy this, it will be way better for you to make more money. You are reaching more people like this. And the other way around, I see people on Facebook, they are making posts. I'm, I'm buying these offers to complete the milestones but it doesn't make any sense. It's too much and the rewards don't match. That's why a good business decision was to target most players to incentivize them to get this offer right here and you'd have a bigger number of players buying this offer instead of having a very, 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 very small amount of players buying this offer. So it doesn't make any sense. Once again, there are not even places where you can spend all those cores, 4,000 cores per day. It's pretty much ridiculous. And uh, I forgot to mention this, but it's important. The reason why you have to complete the other two events, the one with Cosmic Crucible and the one with the Blitz, is that uh, they also give you points that are required for this event. So this is very important. That's why you have to use uh, your unlimited X-Men and also your Wakanda in Cosmic Crucible and in Blitz in order to complete this event. Once again, as a free-to-play player, if you do all of these that I mentioned, you'll be able to reach Milestone 36, which allow you to get the cloak for Lady Thor. But beyond that, you probably have just to forget about it because 4,000 cores per day is completely unreasonable. So yeah, guys, that's going to be the video. I hope you are. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was clear enough and you understand exactly what you have to do. And don't take your expectations too high. Just go for the free to play. If they don't want to take your twenty dollars for a, a bunch of cores, that's fine. That's their loss. They need to change their mindset and they need to be more reachable for a, a wider audience because if they keep playing for the whales if you can if they keep making these events for the whales they will just frustrate more people and the best way to play this game is just to don't care too much about completely completing everything and just enjoy as much as you can so yeah guys that's going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found information helpful on this solar sizzler event make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you are new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more marvel stack force content and i'll catch you guys later